Joe Malcolm Jamal Warner. From the guiding light, Kim Zimmer. And me, Dr. Oldsmith-Simon. And me, I'm Shadow Stevens. Welcome to Radio City Music Hall of Shadows, Artie. Welcome you. We have two contestants today. As every day, we'll greet two new people, meet two new people from the tri-state area every day. On my left, Miss O is Kathleen Raftery. Welcome, Yay! Kathleen. Tell the stars about yourself. I'm originally from Brooklyn, and I'm a Jersey girl now. Yeah! yeah. I'm a registered nurse, and I help deliver babies. Oh. Yeah. And I have a passion for travel. Good luck on the show. Maybe you'll win a trip somewhere, Kathy. You never know. Jeff Severson. Severson is on my right. Welcome, Jeff Severson. Our Mr. X. Hi, Jeff. Tell the stars about yourself. Hi, stars. I'm originally from Iowa, but I've been an Upper West Sider for the past 10 years. And I'm a decorative painter here in New York. Good. Yeah. Good luck on the show, Jeff. Thank Here's you. how you do well here. It's very simple. You win tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, up or down or diagonally. Fire as many squares as you can. Whoever wins the most money at the end of the show will have a chance. If you saw the show Monday and Tuesday, we gave away a car each day. Have a chance to drive away a beautiful Lincoln Mercury. Now, including this never-before-seen, the 1988 Lincoln Continental we revealed to you on Monday. We flip the hot caniche backstage, and Jeff, you go first. Earn a square by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Pick a square. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers! Joan, you know a lot about a lot of things. Sure, do, Joan. <laughs> Where is Gainsborough's famous blue boy hung these days? <laughs> Now, that I don't know, but I think Dr. Ruth does. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know how they hang up a picture? I, I do know. Yeah. I'm a big museum person. I'm museum. always looking at And it's in California, and it's at the Huntington Museum, and people should run to look at it. It's beautiful. Jeff, would you trust a lady with sparkles on her chest? I sure would. I agree. X gets a square. Huntington Museum, Los Angeles. <laughs> Kathleen, pick a square. Dr. Ruth and Shadow? Yes, what a combination. Tell the truth. Have you learned anything from Dr. Dr. Ruth this week? We've gotten uh, really close, John. I'd, I'd rather not talk about what? it. What? <laughs> Here's your question. It's one of the most famous poems ever written, and it goes like this. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Who wrote it? I, I have to say that I do know. Oh. This one I do know because it talks about love, and it is, trust me, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, Kathleen? I agree. No way! <laughs> Dr. Rosen! I trusted you. It's Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I guess I knew that. It. Well, it's too late, Shadow. I try to help your partner. X gets a square. Jeff, pick a square. Kim Zimmer. That's the way to play it from Guiding Light. Kim Zimmer. Hi, Thank Kim. You, Jeff. Kim, you're so sexy on that show, Guiding Light. You're just in and out of bed and oh, everything. She is a vexen, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> You've Kim. never seen it. <laughs> Uh, here's your question. Yes. You have a, a box that makes silver nitrate. <laughs> Last time I looked. Now, I'll just keep going. You have a box that makes silver nitrate turn black when exposed to visible radiation. What do you call it? One of the dinners in my microwave that I make from my husband. <laughs> You're not a great cook? I'm a terrible cook. But you know, this is the first year I've ever had a microwave oven. Really? And I've still exploded things in it. All right. But okay. there's a box somewhere that make, you make silver nitrate turn black when exposed to visible radiation. Well, You're saying it's your microwave? No, I'm, I'm saying that it's a box of matches. A box of matches. Jeff, this is for the win. What do you think? I'll agree. No. But that's a wonderful answer. It's a camera. It's a camera. That's how you take pictures. Circle gets a square. Kathleen, I'm excited. Pick a square. Uh, Jim J. Bullock. Jim J. Jim, what's the matter? I was such a great 
good gloss. Ah. It was so beautiful. Jim. Go on, John. I'm sorry. I don't mean Jim, to... New York Governor Mario Cuomo recently stated that for protection, yeah. for protection, he keeps something near his bed. What would it be, Jim? Lawrence Taylor. Okay. <laughs> I love you people. so silly. Lawrence Taylor can't go to his house. Well, I'm sorry, John. I'm really sorry. What does he keep next to his bed, Jim? I would say he keeps a gun. Kathleen? I disagree. A baseball bat. Circle gets the square. Yes. Jeff, take a square. Gene Shalit from the Today Show, our critic at large, with the best mustache on the show today. Hi, Gene. I got a lot of competition. Right. Tony Kim. Oh, oh. I can't even say that. Jim, what Long Island native was voted the most valuable player of the 1987 World Series? No help from our audience. Was it Al Kyola? Was it Tony Matola or Frank Viola? Kyola, Matola, or Viola? Who was it for the block? Well, I know that it ended in A. Um, I will say Frank Viola. Jeff, what do you think? This is for the block. I disagree. Wait a minute. Here with us is the answer himself, Frank Viola of the World Championship Minnesota Twins. You'd be taller on TV. I'm amazed. <laughs> Did anybody say that, that you thought you looked taller on TV? Either that, either that or fatter. Thank you, Frank. Frank, will you join Gene Shalek? He's a big baseball fan. Will you join Gene up there in, in his box for the rest of the show? Love to. Thank you. Frank hey. Fowler's going to be with us all day. Thanks, Frank. Okay, John. Can't put a circle there. You'd have to earn it yourself. Over to you, <laughs> Kathleen. Pick a square. Oh, Gene Shalit. Yes, Gene. In literature, who was that happy-go-lucky guy who lived in the Catskill Mountains with his nagging wife? Rip Van Winkle. Kathleen, what do you think? I agree. Five hundred dollars. Circle gets a square. In the projection booth, which has its five movie projectors, you can see the 60-foot high proscenium arch, as well as the architectural design of the auditorium. It resembles the rising sun, with a curtain representing the sun itself, and the ceiling coves the sun's rays. If I were to describe chocolate mint, I'd say it Look at that shot! Thank you, Bob Loudon, for that fat. Our director is so good. Game number two is always our secret square game, and the player who chooses that square could win this. Shadow Steven. It's a trip to Aruba, John. Oh! Yes. <laughs> for the vacation of a lifetime, you and a guest will fly from New York to the beautiful beaches of Aruba. We've got your ticket on Eastern Airlines, and you'll enjoy a six-night, seven-day stay at the Divi Tamarin Beach Hotel in Aruba. Offering air-conditioned rooms with patio or balcony, fresh water pool, tennis court, spa, and nightly entertainment furnished by TV Hotels. Let's reveal our secret square to home audience only. And Kathleen, oh, Jeff, your turn to catch up. Pick a square, Jeff. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, our center square. Enjoy Joan here in New York City. And then if you get a chance to travel out to Lake Tahoe at Caesars there because you're going to be there November 26th and 28th. She's all over the country entertaining us. Going, John, trying to make a living. Yes. Joan, here's a local true or false. Uh, I know it because I'm a New Yorker. Right. There's a new store in Fort Lee, New Jersey that is... The bus showed up. There's a new store that there that is a dry cleaners by day and a singles bar by night. True or false? This is true. It's for men who don't know the difference between martinizing and womanizing. <laughs> and uh, it's stupid. No, it's false. False, Jeff. What do you think? I disagree. You should have agreed with her, Jeff. Yeah. Circle gets the stupid, square. Jeff. Kathleen, stupid. pick a square. Uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner. Malcolm Jamal Warner. <laughs> Malcolm. 
You're our secret square. Did you hear that? I'm the secret square? You are our secret square. Oh, man. This is for a trip to Aruba. Kathleen, ever been to Aruba? No. You might go there now. I love you. Malcolm, which famous New Yorker once ran for vice president and lost? Oh, man. John Lindsay, Nelson Rockefeller, or Franklin Roosevelt? No help from our audience. Trip to Aruba. <laughs> uh, Nelson Rockefeller. Kathleen, he says Nelson Rockefeller is the only one who ran for vice president and lost. What do you think? I agree. No. <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt, he ran for vice president in 1920. X gets a square. You're helping I'm each sorry, other. Uh, Jeff, pick a square. Regis Philbin. Regis Philbin, the king. <laughs> Regis, we've got a question about New York mayors for you. I'm sure you and the mayor are very close. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, are you kidding? LaGuardia and I are just like that. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, it's changed now. It's Ed Koch. You see. Oh, I see. Uh, here's your question. How many mayors of New York have gone on to become presidents? Have gone on to become presidents? Three. He says three. Jeff, what do you think? I disagree. Well, for the correct answer, you're not going to believe this. Let's go to the mayor of New York, Ed Koch. How many mayors of New York have gone on to become president? None. <laughs> A police commissioner has Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Good for you, X gets a square. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Koch. How about that? We had Mayor Koch on the show. We've had him on every day. Kathleen, pick a square. Uh, Gene Shalek. From the, the Today Black. Show, the critic Gene Shalek. What a guy. <laughs> and up there with him, Frank Viola. Right. Gang, today he's the star of a popular primetime TV show, but he got his first break as the public address announcer for the Brooklyn Dodgers, 1938. Who is he? That's before my time. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Frank Viola knows the answer, and he whispered it to me. Carol O'Connor of All in the Family. Kathleen, this is before the block. He says Carol O'Connor was an address announcer for the Brooklyn Dodgers. What do you think? I disagree. John Forsythe. Circle gets a square. You have the block. <laughs> Jeff, pick a square. Peter Allen, please. International entertainer Peter Allen is here all week. Peter, you're appearing this week in Westbury. Yep, all week. Out in Long Island. Uh -huh. Oh, very close. Peter, this is kind of a visual question for you. A visual. The curtain here in Radio City Music Hall, I'll hold this right away, has been raised for you. So how many times have you played Radio City? Uh, four times. Good. That's not your question. <laughs> this is one square yard of fabric, right? That's also not your question. Within a thousand... Get to it, John. How many of these make up the huge curtain that you see there? How many of these make up the curtain? How many square yards? Within a thousand. Within a thousand. This is city block long. It's very, it, it actually, really? the, the curtain fell on me once. It's a heavy. I can tell you how much it weighs. That's the only but, way to get you off stage. <laughs> let me, let me say, let me guess uh, 3,000 yards. Within 1,000, he Let's says 3,000. This is for the block, Jeff. He had an know, John. I'll agree. Well, you're close enough. It's 4,000. X gets the square, right? Yeah. That's close enough. Very nice. Kathleen Rafferty. Take a square. Um, Jim Bullock. Jim Bullock up in the corner. Jim and all our stars, we're here in the Big Apple. Watch this as it comes down. Here's a Holy! For you. question. Well, what is it? Well, you see those singing hanging in front of there? You'll notice there's a ruler hanging in front of How there. How does that get there? Right? It's off your square. It's from New York City's Think Big. And on your desk is a six-inch ruler there. Would you take it up, Jim? Whoa. See that? What a budget. It's made out of paper. Yes. There's your question. What is the ratio of that big ruler to the little ruler, Jim? To the little ruler in my hands. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I'd say 1 to 30. 1 to 30. You understand? All these objects have been enlarged, right? You're saying the ratio is 1 to 30. That's Kathleen, right. Kathleen, what do you think? I disagree. Well, uh, 
For that answer, let's go to the president of Think Big, Bob Malkin, who's in our audience. He created all these things. The answer is 12 to 1. Good for you. Okay, circle gets a square. She disagreed, right? Thanks, Bob. Okay, back to the game. Jeff, pick a square. Dr. Ruth and Shadow, please. Yes, that's how to win the game. Wait, 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 wait. wait. First, I have some tasks to do, and I want all of you to say it together with me. Hold on. For Shadow. Ow. Everybody together, happy birthday to Shadow. Happy birthday, Shadow! Happy birthday, Shadow! John, John, if you ask us a good question about sex or okay. about contraception, you might get a piece of his cake. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's... <laughs> Don't listen to her, John. <laughs> Are you all ready for a question? I'm ready for the question, and I've, I've got to take control here. I mean, I trusted her last time. She did give me the cake, oh, all yeah. of it. Here's your question. When a peacock forms a beautiful fan, spreading the feathers on its back, is it the male or the female peacock that's doing all that? Well, I think I know this. This is the, the male peacock. This is before the win, Jeff. Dr. Ruth, you agree? It, yes. I do agree. Thank it you. Is Jeff, the male. what do you think? It's before the win. They say it's the male. I agree. X gets yeah. the square. Yeah. Five. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Let's hear it from Radio City Music Hall. Air transportation to New York for some Hollywood Squares cast and crew furnished by Delta Airlines. Serving three New York airports with non-stop and connecting flights at Delta, we love to fly and it shows. Thank you, Shadow. Welcome back. By the way, we have time only for one last question. Kathleen, we have a tie, $500 apiece. This will solve the whole show. Find out who goes after that Lincoln Mercury. Pick a square, Kathleen. Uh, Lawrence Taylor? Yes. <laughs> Lawrence, we're so glad you're here. Here's your question. The New York Knickerbockers were organized in 1845 and was the first professional team in some sport. What sport were the New York Knickerbockers? Kathleen? Lawrence, answer first. <laughs> well, um, I would say um, it sounds like basketball, but I'm going to go with tennis. You would go for tennis. <laughs> Kathleen, let me remind you this is for the win because we have a tiebreaker. What do you think? I disagree. Circle gets a square. It's We have a winner. That's how it works sometimes. <laughs> Kathleen, you sit right there. You have $700. But Jeff Severson, I, I know that was a fairly easy question, but that's how Hollywood squares work sometimes. <laughs> we thank you. You've won $500. And say hi to everybody back home. Say bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Thanks for being on the show. Well, Kathleen, this is how it works. I have five keys here. One of these keys will start one of those cars. Pick a key. One key for each car. It'll start one of them. Now, which car would you like to try today in front of 6,000 people? Will you try the Merker XR4TI? Will you try the Scorpio? What about the Lincoln Town Car? What about the Lincoln Mark 7? in front of the largest audience ever to watch a television game show. Which car do you want to try? Um, the Scorpio. The Scorpio and Kathleen and a good luck celebrity. We'll be right back. Let's hear it. I've planned thousands of dinners and affairs. Welcome back. Kathleen has chosen Kim Zimmer from Guiding Light and Malcolm Jamal Warner as her good luck celebrities and this beautiful Scorpio. Shadow, tell us about the car. German technology highlights Lincoln Mercury's new 1988 Scorpio, featuring the engineering and handling of a genuine German road car, furnished by Lincoln Mercury, John. The Scorpio's worth 26451 Good luck on the count of three. Turn that key. Wow. Audience starts up. Two, three. Some of 
for departing congestions will receive the following savorable, luscious taste of Lipton Creamy Cup of Soup Instant Soup. Try new creamy broccoli, creamy onion, and broccoli and cheese. They're the pick of the season. And uh, first alert, makers of the kitchen fire extinguisher, the fire extinguisher designed specifically for the kitchen. First alert, because your family comes first. And shapings, hairstyling products, shapings for all the ways you style your hair from Revlon Realistic, available only at salons. And wrinkle-free brand fabric relaxant removes wrinkles from clothing without ironing. Wrinkle-free, the little iron in a can. <laughs>